are you doing? Welcome to episode 3 of learning English. Um, it, today also we will be focusing on, sorry, we'll be focusing on vocabulary to express state, different states of the mind. Um, confusion. It's confusion. You know, you know um, re sometimes we keep thinking that oh, what am I really, what are my likes, how do I actually feel because we feel several things at one time and we're not able to describe that. So I have a bit of vocabulary to help you through your confusion. Um, also, I just want to tell you that I think I made a mistake in the last um, uh, last video. I use this term called um, very often. It's better to say quite often. Um, yeah, it sounds better. Okay let's continue this is also a piece that i have written now i wouldn't call my pieces poetry because the style and the structure is a little different also um the punctuations in these pieces that i read out are not like normal sentences so uh, try, try to also keep that in mind um but don't worry you will get the context clearly and you will also um, be able to understand the tone of what, what and how these pieces are built. Okay, so this is called I. A mess of both simplicity and complexity. An admirer of both silence and chaos. Juggling between being both extrovert and introvert. A lover of attachment and detachment simultaneously. You can also say a lover of attachment and detachment parallelly. Frozen between reality and dreams. Constantly questioning instinct and logic. I'm minimalistic and profligate. Diplomacy and confusion at its finest. That's me. Sometimes I cry when I'm happy and laugh when I'm sad. Sometimes I obsess over strangers and repel the known, repel the loved ones. Sometimes freedom suffocates and confinement brings me peace. I tire my own mind. Sometimes normalcy escapes me. Amidst the weirdness, a sign of embrace restores the life in me. Every emotion is amplified if my mind reads it. Every word is amplified if my heart keeps it. It's the confined walls I'm able to breathe in. It's only my head I feel free to speak in. And I can make even sadness appear so beautiful. Did I speak the truth or did I amplify and exaggerate another feeling? Thank you. Yes, <laughs> I hope I didn't put you in more confusion. But um, I'll try to make a note of the vocabulary and the way these words are used. Um, I'll try to use these sentences. I'll use these words in sentences. And if you have any doubts, do let me know. I will try to correct them. And that's it. Uh, that's it for, for today. And I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day.